hello guys so um this is my rabbit 2021 or or any version you have 2018 upward interface they look so similar and typical we have the bim 360 cloud here and now uh, what we tell you is coming to new everybody should come to new and look for metric structural templates then we click on ok yeah, the purpose of doing this is uh, I would like us to use this metric structure template then after after that we start uh, we save our project as a template then we keep using this same template to work so now on this template I'll go to my level 1 uh, I'll click on my column to check for uh, predefined column we have so we have rectangular column and um, what is it called? I don't have circular and still column. Yeah, I have you see no circular column and the rest. Okay, for this column, I'll just stick on edit type. Oh, I leave it for now. Then later on, we'll come to make adjustment. Uh, I'll link any of my Revit file here, depending the time you guys or someone here will provide us with it. People Revit plan for us to work. So I'll click on insert, I'll click on my link Revit, then I'll pick on tutorial one and open. So it will take a while because this model is on Revit 2020 and I want to load it into my uh, Revit 2021. Okay. If you read this interface well, to avoid repeating the upgrade each time, open the link model separately and after it upgraded, save the changes. That shows I may decide to open the um, Revit file, then after that I save, then after I save I link back to this, then I don't have to do the same process anymore. So now this is my Revit file, I'll come to my 3D. So this is one of the reasons why I said I uh, will use the project first, then after I would like to save the project as a template. Uh -huh. So this is what you see. You come to your discipline here, you come to it and click on coordination, which means you want to view each and every part of what you guys is doing. So by taking on coordination, then you come down here, you may put it on, let's say, hidden line or something. Okay the line and if you notice like let's put it on realistic view to have this or to have the feelings of what is happening here let's put it on realistic uh -huh. let me have it just more small color yes okay this is the uh, architectural file and this building I'm very sure it has some roof elements on this um, slab here there's a slab on this part it's probably for tanks and the reason why uh, we can't see all this in our um, um, structural template is because um, it's on tick it's on tick what i need to do is just press vv on my keyboard and click on everything like this and make sure everything is thick then what uh, most of this architect now the use case work for now you may decide to tick on every tick on, on some of the doors to see the doors we don't need the electrical equipment we go for furniture we don't need it but the casework is very important now because of um, most architects use casework a lot now you come down to look for your roof and other important the dot make sure you tick on it um, the planting if you are planning I don't know it depends on the nature of the job but I'll just go for basic features now ramps I need to see the ramps if there is any the roof um, if there is topography you may want to check and the site also you may need to check I want to see the stairs, special equipment, 
yes I believe we have some few modifications can you see now that the Revit file look it now looks different now can you see you can now see you can now have a feelings of doors all these places openings if you want to decide to bring out the glass let's go let's look for the uh, mechanical equipment all this mechanical equipment and let's go to our windows our windows apply so now you can see the glass you can see the search right if you want to have a good and uh, for the tanks Thanks. Thanks. Is it plumbing features? I may decide to put my railings and it's gonna plumb. Okay, so now. You can see the tank. This is the tank. You, may, you don't have to call your architect and start asking the tank is how many. It has been specified. They have only two tank, 1000 liters or so. You may decide to check on it. See, it's 1000 liter. Can you see? It's 1000 liter to type. Okay. So now, what we will do next is. We may decide to come come here to check on our section box because the section box will be used to cut section I have it lagging a little bit because when I take it back to the line so I will deactivate some of these the sides I don't need it Side the topography and the rest. Only that is. I think this is the fair for now. I'll try and cut it backwards a little bit. Okay. So now I'll go down to my level one. This is my level one. Um, the funnest thing about Revit is you may start doing um, all this for each level if you are not very careful but I don't think I will need much of this apart from the casework which I am not particular about now on this and maybe your doors and your windows the windows is thick and I check for my doors my floors is still down my doors okay then you come to your east view or north view to check these are my previous defined levels you drag, you drag it out a little bit you click on it so for here I have my level 1 and level 2 and I think that is all but on the architectural drawing here we have our ground floor, first floor, second floor we have our ceiling and we have our parapet wall so uh what i only have in line with the architectural drawing is nothing because the first one is if you should check my level one which is this place the only thing you can see is the end of this stairs going on the german floor let's say the ground floor level but if i go back to my east view i move my own level one up using move or mv to the ground floor Let's say I move by 600 up, you may type 600 or you snap to it. 600. And go back to the same level, which is called level 1. I may see. So you see, I can see some. So then you come to the discipline and put it on coordination, it's very important. And I can see the wall line. You see, I can see the walls. see the walls 
likewise the same i'll go back to my east or any other view i'm more convenient with this is my level two i move it to uh i may snap to this guy it should be the same value for 750 so this also have to be for 750 for 750 i rename same with the architect but what i do, need to just do is put a number on my own so first i fell depends yes okay then you come to your structural tab the structural tab click on levels and you may click on click start clicking on click after clicking on click you may i speak line Come out was a little bit to pick my level. If that one is not working for now, I may draw my level, which is apparently somewhere here. It's nine fifty. That is it's nine. It thousand nine hundred, which is second floor. I call it TV the second floor. I don't intend going much on this particular tutorial until I have that Revit, uh, typical Revit file to use for everyone. So now what we do next is let's go to our first floor to check. Change all your view to coordination. Coordination, click on apply. This is our second floor. Then let's come back to my, this is my first floor, my second floor put everything from discipline to coordination so then i only want to make a typical um what should i call it let's say from level one and you, you, okay to draw your asics or your grid line use the pick two is more faster that way call this one this one see let me show you so this is my own why is the architect one this is my own to differentiate both you may type vv on your keyboard and come to revit links tutorial file click on afton apply okay so you can see the faint one is meant for the architect why this is meant for me so i click on this once click on copy multiple then remove to be two automatic three four five to bring out six but you change it to five a and the good thing about Revit is if I'm moving from five a to the next point it will be five b until I tell Revit it to stop I don't need this counting again okay so now on this part I click on my grid also make sure you're on your structural tab grid I pick on grid and uh, if I'm using grid I don't like uh, I pick the pick line because I have predefined grid here 5c uh, so this is a prime a prime you go back once for me to be able to differentiate a prime then you copy make sure you are multiple to give you 5g or you press a now so Revit will know that okay the next point should be b b C on D E E prime maybe to call it F the interrogate is E prime E prime copy then you call this F back okay then the counting continues again F prime F prime F prime but um, if you notice we have all the grays and all the bubbles very close together what i usually do is i put it on a lower scale scale of 1 to 50 i have everything monitor and okay so let us zoom i want to drop a column here let me pick the front part for as an example okay i don't have a grid here and i want to drop a column Revit is so smart it will recognize that point but uh, I don't want to do it such a way like that, so I'll click on grid one 
and I will snap on the center point here. This is, this is the center point of your walls. So that is the center point. I will change it immediately to whatever number I may decide to use. Maybe one prime or that is one. I'll call it one prime. Then I'll bring this out a little bit. There's options for you to reduce this double cycle size. So let us I want to drop a column on this particular point here. This column is too big. I don't intend to use this primary size. Okay. I come to here, I duplicate. I may call it 230 by 230 for now. 230 by 230. Why some use 225 or something? Let's say 225. Okay, two to five. Right, two to five. Click on OK. And then we drop. But before you drop, see is there. Make sure you are on wireframe to see. But check the column properties it says base level is level one which is level one this is our level one so base level is level one for that column look at it then the base offset which is minus 2500 you are telling every that okay this column is going by 2500 then it stops at level one as well but in this case i don't want that column to stop i want it to go to second floor but i want to give it a base level of zero and click on apply okay so i come to my 3d view and let's check out that particular column to see if it's obstructing anything i press vv on my keyboard revit links up to all views so it makes it neater so now this is that particular column as you can see I may want to I may need to check if I'm having this column outside this building it's very easier for me to know now see this column is out is out of scope let me put it on on a view you get what I'm trying to say okay so look at the column here some of us that love using color there is it override graphics by elements I say okay let me call this color and put this on solid fill color I may say okay give it a color of purple click on apply click on ok can you see no. if you notice can't feel the color properly here but when it shoots out I know this is out of scope what I need to do is return this column back to the first floor to the second floor no to the first floor the top level should be on the first floor apply so now this column is working fine now this is the column here so I don't have to see the color which shows is fine this is the color here and um, let us zoom now this column on my level one i'm dragging it up okay let's check let me tap my views into two and call this level one and um, 3d view come to my view tab then uh, type views into two okay so this is it this is it so this is this column I make a copy of this particular column and I'm coming in such a way like this. Okay. So if you notice. Drop 
this color particularly on the window on the window part which is not really which is not really cool it's not cool so for me to make corrections to this the only way is uh, I come to my manage tab manage then I come to my so I come to my collaborate tab and come to interference check on interference check on current project then to tutorial one revit file I need to check on columns I need to check on windows against structural columns and the rest see I see immediately as you tell me oh, you have your windows so you don't have to get to site and tell me engineer I'm telling you I'm sorry I did not know my window my column is on your windows or the rest because I would have uh, paid close very close attention to this and I may have known from the Revit file so okay depending the time we go fully into what we are about to discuss in this class because we use revit uh um, model the same thing as that robot orion and this chance and okay now come to your sheet new sheet a1 metric okay then okay, um, tomorrow I will come up with a very detailed skills on how to make on our own sheet. All I want us is um, let each and every one of us prepare our logo because I would like to have each and everybody sheet sent to the group. And let's say I know some of us know how to use Revit, but me, I'm not an architect. I can only use Revit for um, for my own purpose only, which is for structure. Though I may be able to go into more. The architectural part but please let's focus on the structural part yeah so tomorrow i will explain some of the reason why i prefer using this a1 a1 sheet and one of the purpose of it and how i can even point put that drawing on this a1 sheet and makes it more clearer and that tomorrow so we make our own sheets tomorrow we make our own sheets for people that want their sheet on site some so some of us that would prefer we have this kind of sheet having our logo somewhere here yeah.